Hello everyone, Whitey Gaming 88 here, and this is Arsenal with Suarez. The first six fixtures, and this is fixture number three against <coughs> Tottenham. Sorry, is the I can't say it very well. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is um. The game against Spurs, which is happening on the 1st of September. So, out of the first six fixtures, this is the one that really pops out for me. Um, we are at home as well, um, just like we are in the game as well. And game against Spurs always, always, always seems to stir up trouble Um or stirs up a really good game. The 4-4 is always stands out in my mind. And the Adder by your goal and stuff like that. Um, it always seems to... Um, it's always a good fixture. It always is. Theo Walcott's hat-trick. That one, that one stands out for me. There's loads of games. Loads of Tottenham games that stand out for me. Um, obviously this one... This game is... Go on. Oh, I almost scored. It's a free kick. So, yeah, um, as I'm recording this, this is the date today as of recording is the 31st of July. July. And um, so I don't know about any um, transfers or rumours after this, after that date. So, um, for all I know, Gareth Bale could well be a Real Madrid player right this moment in time. Um, the latest Gareth Bale um, saga is um, Tottenham apparently want like a bazillion pounds for him um, and Real Madrid pretty much willing to pay anything to get their man. Um, and, and it's not quite as much as bazillion but um, I think it's like 125 five million pounds or something like that um if that deal does go ahead then oof that was close um that will i i, I cannot believe that gareth bale or real madrid are willing to pay a hundred and twenty five million pounds on one player and that one player is not even like it's Messi. It's it's Gareth Bale at the end of the day. He's had, what, two good seasons? And everybody thinks he's... I'm not I'm not hating on him just because he plays for Tottenham. He is a very good player and he does, I, I think he carries Tottenham. Um, especially last season, to be honest. Um, and if he does go then that would be good news for Arsenal because I think Tottenham won't be as good and will not be um, top four material without him. But if they get £125 million for him, of course they would sell. Um, they could pretty much buy whoever they want. Uh, go on, Cazola. Go on, Cazola. Um, with £125 million in the bank, you think of all the pay p people you could buy. They've been heavily linked with... Um, uh, Mikel Saldado, the striker, a uh, Spanish striker. Um, he looked like he was coming, looked like it was a done deal before um, any of this saga came up with Gareth Bale. But you think, if um, if Bale does go for £125 million, you think Cristiano Ronaldo's worth was only spent £80 million. They could buy him and still have like forty million left over. I can't. I can't do maths and play FIFA and talk at the same time. Um, so yeah, they would have like forty, fifty million left over to still go out and buy people, and they would have Cristiano Ronaldo in their team. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's um. It, it, yeah, it's as I say, it's ridiculous. Um, I don't think he's worth 125 million, 
but if Real Madrid are willing to pay that for him, then they have got more money than sense. Yes, he's a good player. I'm not taking that away from him. Just because he plays for Tottenham, um, he is a very good player. But I don't think any player is worth 125 million. You think what what would Lionel Messi be if you're a que- um, comparing Bale to Messi? You gotta say. Lionel Messi is a better player than Gareth Bale. So, and if Bale's worth 125 million, what's Lionel Messi worth? <sighs> is like uh, 200 million? Like uh, it's ridiculous. But anyway, so that's that's my little chat about um, Spurs over. And so let's carry on with this game because I always talk too much. And then when I stop talking, I seem to play a little bit better. So um, I'm going to stop talking for a little while and about Tottenham and try and concentrate and play a little bit better. So here we go. Go on, Suarez. Podolski. Why is he on the right-hand side? What's going on here? Go on, Cazola. Go on, Cazola. Go on, Suarez. Oh, Suarez was almost in. He was almost in. To stop play, still in possession. Uh oh. 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 No, how is that a free kick? How is that? Oh, he's offside. Okay, that, I'll let him off. Let him off. Let you off. Um, so. I'm hoping I get to um, get to see this match, uh, especially this match. Out, as I say, out the first um, six fixtures of the new season, this is the one that stands out overall. Out of those five, out of those six, uh, no he... as well later on. Um, first of September, I would have actually started my. By then, I actually started my job out in America. Um, so I don't know whether I'll be working during the time it's on. I know matches are normally on uh, pretty early in the morning, so I might be able to watch it before I go into work, maybe. Or if I'm off that day, I'll definitely be able to watch it. I'm hoping they got the right um, channels in the in the house that we're staying at as well to watch watch soccer us or not us soccer but america uh, english soccer as they call it over there um i know the channel that we need it's called the the fox soccer channel and they show pretty much loads of premier league games look at suarez going here he's never going to score from there but um yeah so i'm hoping that we actually got that channel in the house um so I always like to watch um, as many games as I can. Like, I don't just watch Arsenal, I watch a lot of the Premier League games. Um, or any 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 Premier League game that's on, pretty much, I will, I will sit down and watch it. I like to know what's going on in the league. And I like to know how well players are playing and new signings and stuff like that is always always good fun to watch football go on Arteta 1-0 thank you very much 49 minutes gone we are beating the scum 1-0 now to be honest them um, Arsenal fans will hate me for saying this but I think Tottenham have got a decent squad um, again without Bale I think they, I don't think they struggle, but I think they would struggle to get as high as they have done in recent years. Go on, Suarez is in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, not the best class. But they have got a decent squad. Um, and if they get 125 million to spend, then no doubt they will have an even better squad. Um... If you had 125 million, you could pretty much build a, a dream team. Pretty much. To add to the players that they've already got at Spurs as well. 
Whoops, bad touch. But won it back. Suarez, Gorn Walcott. Close. Getting that. Hugo Loris on this game is one of the toughest goalkeepers to beat. Him, Neuer, and um, Peter Cech, or Petr Cech, if you want the correct pronunciation, um, especially on Ultimate Team, are rock solid, those three goalkeepers, and they're really difficult to beat. They're difficult to be in career mode as well, to be honest. Um, but they're even more difficult on online, especially if they've got like consumer cards, consumable cards on them, anything like that that ups their stats. It's almost impossible to score against them, to be honest. So substitution, Sandro off, on I mean, and Scott Parker off. Again, don't know whether he'll be at Tottenham next season um, yeah he was um, I think he's been linked with QPR I think QPR are looking at him um, Harry Redknapp likes a good old bargain doesn't he and he sees Scott Parker I'm sure it would be a bargain and he a free transfer now or something I don't know I don't know I really don't know but um all you guys are leaving the comments going, He's already signed, he's already signed, he's a free transfer, meh, meh, meh. Again, pre-recorded and nothing has happened yet um, for me. Oh, go on. No, 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 no. Oof, Gibbs almost just scored an own goal. That's going to stay on. That's going to stay on. And Suarez won it back. Look at that, free kick. That's what I like about Luis Suarez. He has got a, um, when he wants to, he has got a very high work rate and he will track and chase and, and um, take one for the team kind of thing. And I do like that about, I'd, you like to see that in a player. Like Jack Wilshere has got that ability, that, um, that personality as well, where he would do, Looks like he'll do anything on the field. Go on, Walcott. Oh, he's dragged back, surely. Is that Gareth Bale? It was. Also, as well, another thing about Gareth Bale um, is what happens with Cristiano Ronaldo. Time that challenge. Because I've heard someone say that um, they want to buy Gareth Bale to future replace Cristiano Ronaldo because he's only got two two years left on his contract, and most people are saying that he won't sign. He won't. Um, he won't sign a new contract. So does that mean Gareth Bale sits on the bench for the next two years? Until until Ronaldo moves on, what's or do they switch and swap? And Ronaldo won't like that. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's 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 the last I'm going to say about Gareth Bale, unless he scores in this game, of course, or gets sent off or something like that. So this has been a tough game to Tottenham. Always in career mode on FIFA. I think in FIFA 13 they have been. Um, upped a little bit too much just because they it always seems a difficult game when you play Tottenham in career mode um, I don't know whether you find that guys as well um, obviously if you do leave a comment in the in the um, in the box below and let me know but I'm always fine ah oh, there you go six three minutes to go as well I'm not gonna win it now but um yeah, as I was saying, Tottenham are extremely di difficult to to beat in career mode in FIFA 13, I think. Um, one of the toughest teams to beat. I always struggle. Not saying I always lose to them or always drop points. Oh, and Santi Cazola 
Oh yes, in the 89th minute, I don't know how he scored this. Oh, not the best finish in the world, but he made it count. And I said I wasn't going to win this game, but it looks more than likely that I'm going to. That's it, stop bail. Good boy. Just keep it, Walcott. We've got two minutes. Santi Gazzola. Oh, he's gone past you. He's gone past you, Kabul. That's pull back. Pull back again. Oh, Kazola again. 90th minute. This time from a free kick. I'll tell you what, that is almost an impossible angle to score from. Oh, Loris, it's gone through his fingers. Let's see it one more time. Yes. 3 1. If this happens on the 1st of September in real life, I will be extremely happy. 3 1 against Tottenham. Arsenal's third game of the season. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. As long as they haven't lost the first two against um, Aston Villa and Fulham, of course. So, anyway, guys, that is the end of this episode. Mikhail Arteta, Santi Cazola, and Santi Cazola again in the 90th minute with a free kick. And that is the end of this episode. And I will see you next time for um, fixture number four, and that will be away to Sunderland. And if you like this video, please make sure you leave a comment and or a like. And if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And like I said, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.